Shida mako aga baidu. Give you chupa la mitya gana. Nika wu kela jawa chochine. Abo. Nisho ya to te ya. Buni hayo du yule ya yi koche nito mabakakane. O uti la yune la kaja. Goda ni ya ya lega ye hiduma. Odana la doka go ya lega ye hiduma. Odana chuga doka go ya le hiduma jo. Oyo tuku go kela ya yi ku guchi gala hiduma. Mwana ni mbao kela le hiduma chichi agene la ni wo. He did it. He got paid in the glass. What she had did cable. So that would change she got a got a quarter in that kind. If you do not learn all the money, if you do not have a little chair, what you have to have to do, I have to have to do it. I have to have to have to do it. I have to 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 have to. Odaya ndi kila jia ochoche ipuge bolo ala angwa haiku aina chini tiga hii achini ogido na chapa wangu hivi watu na gizi ndi kila jia dukumu kibu ochoche chuo yote. I bless all of you. I may all my things continue to bless you. This morning I want to break a message to. My sons and daughter in Idoma Kingdom, on the occasion of my first coronation anniversary, as the Chidoma um, paramount ruler of Idoma Kingdom. To God be the glory. On behalf of Idoma Era Traditional Council, and my family and myself, I wish to use this medium once again to express my sincere and deepest condolences and solidarity with my subject all over Idoma Kingdom who have suffered from one form of unfortunate incident and attack that have led to the killing of my children by the criminal armed haters in my kingdom. I urge all of us to remain calm as vengeance belong to God alone. My dearest sons and daughters of Idoma Nation worldwide, it is with a great joy and testimony of God's might that I speak to you this day from this medium. Even though it is my profound wish that we could all meet together with hugs, laughter, and also merriment on this special day, as I do thank God for the technological advancement that have made it possible to get across to you all from here at the same time. God bless you all. When I ascended the exalted throne of our forefather over a year ago, I was officially coronated on the 30th of June, 2022. I met a kingdom yearning for peace, unity, Law, collective prosperity, and stability within the tradition setting among chiefs and subjects. I have never shared a way that God would lead me to harness the will, human, natural, and capital resources that Idoma people and land is endowed with to fulfill our yearnings and aspirations. My chief of, that is made up of council of chiefs, and I have tried in several areas in this past year, to the great admiration of those who believe in Idoma, that we have done things unprecedented within the realm. This is anchored on the fact that the new Idoma is possible, where life is shared. And forgiving spirit is birth to pave way for the economic growth and development, as Romans chapter 13, verse 10 says. Love 
can never work ill against his neighbor. Rather, love is the fulfilling of the law. I would like to remind us all of the time tested adage that Rome wasn't built in a day. Great things take turns, and even greater things take more time. But we have a persisting focus, anchor on God to sustain, to build a greater Idoma kingdom. Again, I can tell you as a father that it is harder to mold and form the character of a man and people than it is to build great empires and kingdoms, which is why our fundamental and foundational goal as a council is to begin a character reformation crusade across the length and breadth of our land. A crusade that we see Idoma nationals as united, loving, and progressive people in thought and deeds. This being a heritage of every child born in Idoma kingdom, in whose veins the blood of our founding father and king runs. I stand on a succession list at the fifth on this exalted throne, and it is worthy of note that each of my predecessors is imbibed with the unique aspects of the divine which they manifested during their eventful hegemony. I have had some of my children showing confusion with my connection with Christ and also the profession of my Christian faith. This today is an aberration to war the us ought to know and ones claim to know or thought the new to be true. The truth is that my primary assignment on this throne is to serve as a spiritual and moral compass of Edoma people. With truth, fairness, equities, and justice. We all have a concession that there is a reign beyond us, a reign of spirit for which today I am graced to be the channel between the known and the unknown. A commitment and a have to live for life. Romans chapter 13 verse 1. This by the grace of God was demonstrated in every of my dealings with the fear of God Almighty, as God appointed ruler of Idoma Kingdom. Furthermore, as God appointed ruler of Idoma Kingdom, in collaboration with my chiefs and stakeholders, we will do all we can do to protect, preserve, and promote our traditional custom and culture and by the grace of God in a godly way that the whole world would admire and emulate to the pride of all Edomans. As the Bible put it, but there is a spirit in the mound, this bride of the Almighty, that gave in understanding. Job chapter 32 verse 8. Again, John chapter 3 verse 8 put it, the wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, and you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. The light is already shining over Ijuma Kingdom, and it shall be phenomena with an astonishment for all to see. Hence, my selection. My installation and also enthronement are all made possible by God. And as your spiritual guardians and cultural custodian, I have made it a point of noble duty to point you, my children, towards the light of God. And this I can do every day. Daniel chapter 2 verse 21. 
the culture and tradition of our forefather, as I said before, shall be preserved in the godly ways under my watch. That is why I have ensured a chapel is built in the remote palace to let burn every obscurity and culture and tradition how to be dark or perceived as evil for it to be seen to be legitimate and appreciated. Not in this age of light, fast paced information and a time for two that the glory of our God will cover the earth like water covers the ocean. Peace, unity, and development are far returning to our dear fatherland. This is possible through our spirit of togetherness and tolerance of hood in my reign. Number one, fostering a magnified unity between Iduma and Igede speaking dialects of our most unique and diverse kingdom to which I and my most extinct council of cheese forge a common uniting blend to show that we are one. God has not made a mistake to put us together in the same kingdom. He always has a purpose for everything. Bringing peace to the decades long warring community of Egba and Ologba in Agatu local government, Idiku and Ija in Apa local government, and breaking the jinx in the selection of clan heads in the same kingdom. Personal visitation to any part of my kingdom that was attacked by external aggressions and also internal crisis among my people. This will enable me to have the first assessment of information by myself. To this, I, alongside my council of my chiefs, some of an Idoma stakeholders emergency meeting to discuss the way out of the pressing security challenge. The meeting was well attended by the great sons and daughters of Idoma Kingdom. From all walks of life, including but not limited to security experts, political officer holders, captains of industries, youths, and women. In this meeting, committee were formed in order to advance the solution to our common problem. A week-long national prayer and fasting were declared across the Idoma Kingdom aimed at taking our problem to God that we uphold the kingdom to mitigate against internal unrest and external aggression. We are happy to report here that with God's interventions, both experience and outcome are awesome. The Peace and Security Committee Fund has already visited all the local government in the Duma Kingdom. The people were all sensitized in respect of security challenges in the kingdom and the need to cruise the rank. Plans are in top gear for a week-long Idoma traditional and cultural festival to showcase the unique diversity inherent in the Idoma tradition and culture to the admiration of the whole world. This is planned to start with each intermediate era traditional council having a day to showcase their peculiarity. And the grand finale will be when all the intermediates will meet simultaneously to receive royal charge and blessing. All events are to take place within Ochiduma Palace in Utupu, 
اینو تو پولو کو گومت میشن مودی میت او ما کیری چیلڈرن اوورسیز اسپیشلی استرالین میڈیکل ڈاکٹرز اند دی ایدوما اسوسییشن اف یو ایس اے فور دی ہوسن سپورٹ ان ریلیف تو دی برادر باک ہوم وی ریمین انٹرنلی گریٹفل اند آئی پری دیٹ دی گاڈ اف ہیون will continue to bless the work of your hand. You can be part of this grace getcha. Despite the unprovoked attack on my kingdom by external aggressors, which has continued unabated to date, that defy every state of federal government security intervention, and still become on the security apparatus of the same to rise and brace up to their statutory responsibility to put an end to this menace. A call for unity, collaboration, and national gains in the Uma Kingdom. I would love to use this medium to congratulate my sons and daughter who won the last election and have been duly sworn in to begin their terms in office. I pray that your turn of service to our individual and our collective constituents will yield the most positive in our recent history. To this end, I call on all political leaders of our land to shield every sort of post-election litigation, which mostly only amount to spending already scarce resources, creating a divide and running occupants of elected offices from performing at their best. This is a time to harness and cut our political gains and reposition ourselves for what is present and ensuring administration has to offer to us as a people. We should and must put the interests of Iduma and our children on board first. For our both personal and cleanest interests, let us put our best foot forward in the national forum, which Iduma have never been known to be a back benchers, even in the first republic. We have the likes of Jesse Obande of blessed memory. And recently we have our own son, distinguished senator A.B. Mai, GCFR, as number four citizen, being the longest serving Senate president in the history of Nigeria. Aside from politics, we have sons and daughters excelling in businesses, lawyering, medicine, education, and much more. Importantly, the illustrious sons and daughters of the Sawyer were found worthy and credible to be given national assignment. May Almighty God bless and be with them all. As part of the same race, we must all now come together as a matter of urgency, put all hands on deck, and attend to this call for a sustained Iduma nation set on a deliberate path to greater fortunes and the fortune of our children. To this end, I want to end this anniversary broadcast by saying that our unity of purpose and action must align and it is a sacrosanct appreciation. I thank God, the Father of all creation, for this day and time, and the light and the hope He has shown on the Doma nation at this time. My beautiful wife, Her Royal Majesty, Mata Omawe Laibu, Agabaya Kidoma, and my children, 
For they are all around support and encouragement. My style, my personal aids, I thank you all for you have been wonderful and helpful in making me attend to this truth. Then, the God that has unpicked you shall never cease to uplift and uphold you all. Thank you very much. I sincerely appreciate my council of chief and the entire membership of the Iduma Era Traditional Council. His Royal Highness George Ede Adonene, First Grand Chief of Ado, Okpoku, and Obadibu Intermediate Area Council, which is entire council. His Royal Highness Baba Odangala Agangu of Apa Anagatu, First Grand Chief of Apa Anagatu Intermediate Area Council, and his entire council. His Royal Highness Oga Ero, CP Retired, Adirahu Yigede, First Grand Chief of Oju, Obi Intermediate, Intermediate Area Council and his entire council. And His Royal Highness Emmanuel Okochi, Ejelote Ocho Tukbo and Ohimini, First Grand Chief of Otukbo and Ohimini, and his entire council. I want to say I love you all equally. And I'm sure that for us to have achieved this collaborative experience in this past year is a testament that the coming years put greater promises for all of us. My profound gratitude go to all sons and daughters of Idoma Kingdom who believe in what God is doing in the kingdom, especially those that extended their hands of fellowship either financially or morally. May God bless you, and I want to say you are most valued. I'm glad to also announce to you that I have officially moved into the remote palace of Ochidoma here in Otupo, and I've been working from this office for the time being. And I can say I'm always available, and you can reach me at any time. In my address today, Idoma Association in US, and also during the commissioning of my palace, I proudly say that Ochidoma Palace is open for tourism attraction. Hence, tourists to the country are all welcome to this noble edifice. Thank you for watching, my loving children, and also for listening. God bless you all today, and always in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy celebration to Iduma Nation. Long live Nigeria. Long live Benue State. Long live Iduma Nation, the unmovable nation. Thank you and God bless you. Odanka doko poka kole mapa TV. Alabo date no ya haje kabolona ku YouTube wa. Abona labo doa owe chugi ho hacho. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, what?